G'day legends, I hope you're all having a great day. On today's video, I've got a pretty legendary, almost mythical piece of gear, the Boss BF1 Flanger, the very first Boss Flanger pedal, and something that predates their entire line of compact pedals. When you look at the size of this thing, it's about the size of a house brick, so you can really appreciate that the Boss pedals we all know and love really are compact in comparison to it. I'm borrowing this one from the amazing Verly at Past Effects. Shout out to Past Effects. They do some of the very best vintage inspired pedals being made right now. I've demoed plenty of their pedals, but you should really just go check out the Elastic Mattress if you like flanges. It's one of my favorite pedals ever. However, let's get into this. Pretty standard flanger controls. You know, aside from the size of the box it's in, you've got a bypass foot switch on there, and then you've got resonance, depth, rate, and manual controls on there. Let's start out with a clean sound on this DGT. I am contractually obligated to play this chord. Those more subtle sounds on there are absolutely gorgeous. As a flanger, it's definitely got its own character going on. I've always wanted to check out a Boss BF2. I should probably just pick one up because they are one of the more affordable vintage Boss pedals out at the moment. Uh, shout out to anyone who's using a Boss BF2 in their rig. Let me know in the comment section if you are. But I really like that with just a little bit of everything on there to add some movement. So. Let's fire up some absolute filth. I'll go to the bridge humbucker and we'll start at these settings where it's just adding some swoosh, kind of the way I would almost use a. <laughs>
get some pseudo phaser tones in there with the resonance control all the way down you can get some sweet chorus sounds out of there and with the depth control all the way down you can use it as a manual or fixed flanger where you use that manual control to just basically park it somewhere in the sweep and that will give you everything from kind of faux resonator tones through to like a cocked wah or EQ boost sort of thing in there. If you want to learn more about how a flanger works I will link my video with the past effects ATA flanger in there where I kind of explain all the controls on that. But essentially, you've got this interaction between the depth control and the manual control. The manual control, you can kind of think of as like the filter matrix on, say, an electro harmonics electric mistress when the depth is at zero. And as the depth comes in, it sweeps around that frequency that is going to be set by the manual control. Something kind of like that anyway. So I'll switch back to a clean sound. Let's try to get a kind of faux Leslie tone out of this. So what I will do is I'm going to set the rate quite high on this. We probably won't need any feedback or resonance on it, but I might add a little bit. And then I'll just kind of turn the manual all the way down. I'm going to set the depth control quite lightly and then find the sweet spot on the manual function and depth function there together just to kind of get it right. So it's not too wobbly, but it's still really, really nice. So let's get the rate dialed in first. That's actually pretty interesting there. You can hear with the manual control all the way down, it's a lot more kind of pronounced and wobbly. As you turn it up, it's like the flanger gets tighter sounding. I'll let you hear maximum manual versus minimum manual and keep that kind of loose and tight analogy in your mind. <laughs> That's quite nice. I actually kind of feel like the more I mess with it, the further I got from my initial starting point, which was pretty good. So you can do the faux Leslie thing. And of course, if you crank up resonance and have the speed quite low and the depth right up, you get that kind of jet plane swoosh thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
I could keep jamming on this for days. It's a super fun pedal. Really makes me want to check out a BF2 as well because as good as this sounds, you know, that form factor is pretty ridiculous nowadays. I'm sure you could probably find a pedal that gets 95% as close in an enclosure about that big nowadays. So if you've got an original one of these and you still keep it, let me know why in the comments section below. Let me know how you use it in your rig and any stories related to it. I'm always really curious with vintage pieces of gear. They've been with people for a long time, how they've used them over the years, or if you're somebody who uses a BF2 or any of the other kind of boss modulation pedals, I'm always looking out to hear stories from other people addicted to really greasy guitar tones. If you're not into the boss flanger, what are you into? Are you into flangers at all? Why are you watching this video? Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Shout out to Verly at Past Effects. Check out the video description for a link to their website and their amazing pedals. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, you can check out the video description. My Patreon, my music that I make with Ragdoll is linked in there and a bunch of affiliate links are in there for Sweetwater in the US and Toman in the US. So if you use those, I do earn a commission at no extra cost to you. It helps keep the lights on in here and the cats fed, which is probably the most important thing. So I'm gonna say thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all next time.